What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we got a really fun one planned for you. That's right. We're going to be looking at the newest drop from the very popular hype brand, Fontaine. That's right. We're going to be looking at the newest in the series of Rip and Dip decks by Rip and Dip and Fontaine. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The V2 Ice Cream Rip and Dip Playing Cards by the powerhouse Fontaine Playing Cards is the newest deck release in the juggernaut lineup of decks that they've released in this past year. Fontaine teamed up with Rip and Dip Clothing about a little over a year ago with their first deck in this series, the Camo Edition. This here is the newest, like I said, this is the Ice Cream Edition, hence the pink and different hues that you're going to see within this deck. You're still going to see Normal there sporting across the front with that really cool big spring there with those pink Fontaines in hand. The whole entire back part of this tuck box is still going to be that really cool kind of camo look with Normal repeating itself making that image. The left and right sides of the tuck box are the same. It's going to have a little bit of ad copy about distribution by Fontaine cards. The bottom of the tuck box is going to have a UPC barcode there at the bottom right. It's going to have a little bit more ad copy, first edition rip and dip ice cream, one of 10,000 decks, and designed by Zach Mueller. The back design of the tuck is the back design of the cards, which we will definitely get to here shortly. There's no tuck seal on this deck either. You're going to see the uh, very iconic Fontaine logo there at the top of the tuck flap. On the inner parts of the flap, you're going to see Normal there giving you the middle finger. And that's it for the tuck. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their crushed premium soft paper stock. It does have a traditional cut and an air cushion emboss, and this is a limited edition run of only 10,000 decks. The back design on this deck is going to be very reminiscent of what we saw on the V1s. You're going to see that kind of camo-esque design there made up of all those kind of different normals there. You're going to see those very thin borders there on the outside of the deck. And then, of course, the iconic Fs for Fontaine in the middle. So with this deck, you're going to get some extra cards just like you did in the V1s. This first one is a really cool card because it very much so goes right along with the V1 ad card that was with it. Uh, this one here says, I was wrong about you. If you remember from the V1s that I reviewed, the other card said, get a job. There's no money in flipping cards. Which is why now, Mom's tone is way different. As you can see, he's sitting there with the cards, a bunch of money, you know, sitting on a, a nice chair of money. So, yeah. The next card you're going to get is also really cool. It's going to have Normal eating a ice cream cone, and it's going to say, Lick me until I scream. Get it? No? Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> the last two cards, but certainly not least, are going to be these really cool jokers. Um, and if you're familiar or live in the LA area, this is definitely going to look familiar. This is the iconic Rip and Dip ice cream truck. Um, this is an actual thing. They actually brought this out. Um, if you're not familiar, this deck as of right now of this recording uh, is not available to the general public. They did a pop-up in Tokyo where they released uh, portions of the deck as well as LA. Um, and they brought this ice cream truck out and it's really cool. And yeah, and that's it. Now let's check out the rest of the deck. The pips and indices in this deck, as well as the quartz, which we'll show here shortly, are all 100% custom. That's right, nothing in this deck is standard or traditional. 
And that's the reason why Fontaine continues to push the envelope. That's right. The blacks are still black, but when it comes to the reds and the diamonds and hearts, this time around, they are that same pink hue color that we see kind of throughout the entirety of this deck. Kind of like that ice cream, bubblegum type of, you know, vibe going on. Um, and as you're going to see also, uh, just like the V1s, every so often you're going to find, you know, different cards in that suit or whatnot you know that's going to have a significance for instance i believe the last deck uh, and one of the nines it was like a cloud with the cat and it meant nine you know cloud nine uh different things like that it's a really cool look uh, very nice touch as well and that's it let's check out the courts like I said earlier, the court cards are also 100% customizable as you can see. You're going to see Nermal in there holding balloons, eating cake, ice cream cones, and everything else. Just having a blast, just like this deck. As far as the aces are concerned, not one is more prominent than the other making these aces really fun and unique as always. As you can see there, all of them are really fun and unique. And so is this entire deck. That's all I can say about this deck. Join me now for my final thoughts. All right, so you guys wanna know my final thoughts on this bad boy. I give it a four out of five. I give it a four out of five. Uh, it's a great deck. Probably, if not the best Fontaine collab deck, period. Um, of all the Fontaines that Zach Mueller and the Fontaine brand have released. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I, I really like these decks. Um, I really love the first one. As you guys know, if you follow me for some time, you see I reviewed that. Um, it's one of my, you know, top viewed videos, actually. Uh, so thank you guys for that. Um, but this one's no different. You know, it's very fun. I love everything about it. It's edgy. You know, it, it, it's just, it's a great deck. And, you know, Rip and Dip themselves is just a big brand. They're a big deal, such as Fontaine. And when you have two powerhouses that collide like that, it, it's just, it's magic. I mean, you know, in every sense of the word. So, you know, let me just say, like I said before, Zach and Fontaine have had the greatest year. This year is already starting off with a bang. I mean, he's just, he's on fire. And if you say otherwise, well, you're wrong. You know, Fontaine is just, they're out of here. I mean, they're just on another light ship. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, you know, like I said, me, myself, do I wish I would have got onto the hype train a little sooner with like maybe collecting the decks and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just for, just for the collector's aspect, I would love to have them. Um, I don't use them as you guys know, I'm, I'm still practicing cardistry, trying to get down the basics, you know? Um, so I do very much appreciate the art of cardistry and what it is and what it's become over these these even last couple years four or five years even it's it's kind of transcended above and beyond what it was and what anybody probably ever thought it could have been um you know even when dan and dave started doing this you know 15 20 years ago or whatever um it, it's it's a big deal so and and i wish i could do half of the stuff that some of these guys and kids do you know women whoever um but i just can't so i gotta stick with what i know but um <clears throat> Forgive me, my voice is a little harsh. I just got over having the flu, so I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, you know, this deck just was released at their po uh, pop-ups. They did one in Tokyo and then another one in LA a week later, I believe it was. Um, so that was the only way to get these decks until they officially do release. Um, I don't think Zach has put out a date to confirm that, uh, when that will be, but like I said, I'm sure he will, seeing as that it is a popular, you know, demanded deck, and they did release it last time on the Rip and Dip site, um, to the, the general public, so, 
I guess you guys have to wait to get your hands on this awesome, fun deck. So, like I said, I do want to thank the great people over at SoCal Playing Cards for allowing me to have this deck early so I could do the review for you. And if you guys enjoyed this review, <laughs> you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.